Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this fantastic sunny afternoon, late afternoon, with Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 18. Riches and honour are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. Riches and honour are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. What Solomon is saying is that by making an investment into wisdom, you are investing in a security that is incredible. It is the best investment that you'll ever make, even more so than anything else. You can make investments in money, in land, in, in all kinds of things. But Solomon is saying, if you make an investment into wisdom, then you are preparing to reap a good return, a good harvest, in fact. The blessings of doing the right thing beget doing the right thing. So as we learn to address the wrong things that go on in our lives by applying the wisdom to make the adjustments, so we are preparing ourselves for a new future. If we remain by keep on investing in the inappropriate things that we do, then we will find ourselves returning a poor investment. So when you sow in anger, you will reap anger. When you sow in fear, you will reap fear. When you invest in darkness, you return a deep darkness. What we sow, we reap. And so if we sow in joy, then we reap happiness. If we sow in love, then all things that are surrounding us will be reflective of love. If we sow in peace, then we will live in security. The investments that we make will return something to our lives. So if you don't pay your rent, don't be surprised that they will evict you. If you don't pay for your electricity, don't be surprised that they turn your electricity off. So it is. Make sure that you make positive investments in your life. Do the right thing. Live the right way. Be courteous. Be humble. Be compassionate. Be merciful. Be kind. All these things will bring about a return for you. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. And when you bless others, you prepare them, giving them seed to then be a blessing to other people. If we want to change the world that we live in, we need to change the world that we live in. And so living in the world that we live in changes when we make investments that reflect the goodness of God. Why are things going wrong? Because investments have been made in inappropriate places, in inappropriate ways. Does that mean that nothing bad happens to those who make wise investments? No, of course not. But they are already preparing themselves for those difficult times with the good things that they've, as it were, stored up within themselves to manage the dark days that do come to everyone's life. Make good investments, Solomon is saying, because you will get a good return. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.